All right, Shraddha, here's your question. Um, this is more a stoichiometry question, less a equilibrium question. So, um, fairly straightforward. What you need to remember, what you need to read from this reaction is, um, for this question is this reaction here. Note that all the coefficients of A, B, C, and D are all 1. Note that the initial concentration of A is 3N and the initial concentration of B is N. Also, <coughs> the volume is 1 liter, okay? Which means that when you calculate concentrations as moles per liter, the volume that you're dividing by is 1. So you can pretty much ignore it, same as the previous problem you asked. So, <coughs> Let the let the moles of C be formed be x, yeah, and given that whenever you have one mole of C formed, you are, you also have one mole of D formed from this equation. So you have x moles of C formed. You also have x moles of D formed. All right. Now here's the initial number of moles: three n n and zero of C, zero of D x moles of C and D are formed. Note that one mole of B gives you one mole of C and one mole of D. Yeah, When one mole of C, B is consumed, you get one mole of C and you get one mole of D. So if you have x moles of D formed or x moles of C formed, it means that x moles of B have been consumed. By the same logic, x moles of A also have been consumed. So finally, we have 3n minus x moles of A n minus x moles of b, x moles of c, and x moles of d. Now the question says that the concentrations of b and c yeah, are the same. Okay? Now what does that mean? That really means that n minus x, and that should be divided by 1 yeah, for the uh, volume, moles per liter, but like I said, because it's 1, we don't worry about it, but I'm writing it here just to be sh sure is equal to x by 1 and if you solve this yeah you will get x equals n by 2 and that's the concentration of d that's what is being asked for let me know if you still have trouble understanding this